Parents, welcome to another episode of The Journey, a podcast intended to educate, equip, and entertain you as we talk about important issues facing our families. PCA is a Christ-centered, biblically-based, and family-focused community of committed believers doing life together. We hope the information you hear on this podcast informs and inspires you to be a better parent. Welcome to The Journey. Hey parents, welcome back to The Journey. This is Dan Panetti. I've got some students that we're going to talk to about uh, retreat. We're actually up at Sky Ranch um, at our high school retreat for the Plano campus. North yes. campus was up here last week. Uh, they had Lance Millsaps as their speaker. Um, we've got uh, Ryan Newsom, who's our new um, spiritual development head. Um, but I want to talk to um, some students um, and see if we can get Ryan on here as well, uh, just about retreat and how important it is as part of uh, the PCA culture. And so, um, Maddie, I want to start with you. You're a yes. senior this year. Yes, I am. Um, I want to ask just uh, what you're excited about for the coming year, just kind of looking at your senior year. What are the things that you're looking forward to and experiencing this year as a senior? Yes, I'm very excited for this year. I've been looking forward to it for a long time, mainly just the leadership aspect, because I think being at the top and being able to set an example is really important. And honestly, it really depends. Like whatever the senior class does sets a reputation for how the year's going to go and like the standard and stuff. And I do have a sister who's a freshman. And so knowing that she's also looking up to me, I want to be able to set a good example for her and just show her the ropes and stuff and hope that it will just be a good year. Yeah. What was it like seeing Caroline at retreat at the same time that you were here? <laughs> it was really strange. We've always talked about being in high school together and now yeah. it's here. And I'm like, it's just crazy. Yeah. I love it. Um, how does retreat advance the mission of PCA, right? So if you were thinking, um, why do we send a bunch of high school kids up to Sky Ranch for a couple of days? Are they just up there playing and having a good time? Mm -hmm. Like why, why would we do that as a school? Why would we make that investment? I think first and foremost, just about building community because it's kind of hard to just jump right into the school year and just go for it. But when we're up here, we're able to have some moments where we branch out and feel more comfortable. Like you can just be playing kickball with someone who's younger than you and just be like, Hey, never met you. And like, what's up and yeah. stuff. And, and you dominate them and crush them. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. Um, and just also like the new kids for sure. I know it's probably daunting for them to come up here for the first time, like not really knowing anyone, but I guess it gives everyone like a sense of comfort and stuff just to be able to reach out where yeah. you can. Now you guys are leaving um, tomorrow to go on part of the senior part of the trip. Yes. Right. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, we just go to San Antonio, stay at the JW Marriott, we get to float the river. I love San Antonio and the green area and stuff. So I'm very excited. It feels kind of like home down there. I so. love it. Should be a good time. Yes. Um, any advice you'd give to a new student who is coming to PCA for the first time? I'm always just thinking about, you know, next year as mm -hmm. retreat rolls around and you've got some new students and new parents coming in and they're mm -hmm. kind of like, oh my goodness, retreat, what do we need to know? What would you say to that new student coming in? just be out there be friendly it's kind of hard when a new student comes in and they're kind of closed off and you don't really know like if they're shy or just uncomfortable and you want to reach out but you don't know how they're going to feel about it so i just would say just come in with positive spirits just be open to meeting new people it helps us be like hey you're new i love it and just reach out and stuff awesome well maddie mcdonald your senior year i'm super excited for you thank you i'm excited for you even you know not just to finish off a great year but where god is going to take you for next year as well mm -hmm. uh, and continuing on so thanks <laughs> yes. for the time today thank you okay All so right. now we've got <laughs> kellen o'brien with us and <clears throat> kellen, you're a junior this year yes um and i wanted to ask you what you were excited about but one of the things we mentioned was um your brother, older brother, went off to college, um, and you said, I'm not excited about that. That's actually a little sad. Yeah. So what, what just as, right? I mean, here's the deal. We spend um, a lot of time with these students, right? You've been here for a long time. Long time. Um, and then when students graduate, it is kind of sad, it right? Is. Brother or just other friends. Yes, um, what's that like to have your brother grow off to college? Um, well, you see, like me growing up with a brother, um, I had him all throughout my growing years. Mm -hmm. um, he's kind of like the staple of my childhood. I guess you could say like I didn't know a life without a brother And now, in that sense. Um, and now I got to get used to one without yeah. a brother. Um, in that sense, there's like a beneficial side of it where I don't have to deal with him anymore. But um, there's also a sense that, you know, he's gone and I don't have that like relationship in my life as as much intensity anymore. Yeah. Um, but it's a consolence that he's off and that he's happy. Um, and that my parents can also take con some consolence in that yeah. um, and that he's in the right place. I love it. 
So what are you looking forward to? Junior year, they always say that junior year is the hardest year. And I mm -hmm. think um, academically is what most people are talking about in terms of um, you kind of come into your freshman year and it's like, whoa, do these grades really matter? And the answer is yes. Yeah. Um, but your junior year is kind of like, you know, the grades, the classes, what you're doing, right? You're going to start applying for colleges. And then once you get to your senior year, a lot of kids are getting in that fall of their senior year. And yes. so it's almost like it's not that your senior year doesn't matter as much, right? But those things that are that everybody's looking at are happening during, during your junior year. So mm. what kind of things are you excited about happening this year? Yeah, well, I think you uh, hit it on the forehead. It's uh, at the academics of this year. Yeah. A lot of people look at hard classes and they're scared mm -hmm. and they don't like it and, and, and they despair and they run away. But I look at hard classes and I look at an opportunity. Um, an opportunity to succeed, yep. an opportunity to fail, I guess you could say, as Dr. Steen says. Um, he loves failure. And That's right. You learn from was, failing. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, You can fail without learning, which is not super productive. But if you learn from failing, mm. right, then you've actually learned something. Yes, sir. So that's great. Any um, any outside activities that you're involved in that you're looking forward to still continuing yeah. this year? I know Miss Lichty like this. FPS. There you go. Um, SLI. I know you're not doing that anymore. Coach yeah, Bryant's Coach doing Bryan's that Coach Bryant's doing it this year. I'm excited. Yeah. Is that going to be any different? or? No, same con concept. He's doing artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and kind of examining the on the aspect of from a biblical worldview. What should we think about that and, and how does it look? So should be very fascinating. Wow. Yeah. I always, we have a few always, questions about always that. Always love that. What about homecoming? Very early this year. That's it my is. opinion on it. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Make now we're, we're up at Sky Ranch for retreat. Um, what would you say in terms of retreat, how it fits into kind of the culture of PCA? Why do we take all of our high school students for a couple of days up to Sky Ranch? Is it just to have fun and uh, jump in the lake and swim in the pools? Or is there something about this that really advances the mission of our school? Yeah, well, at least from my perspective, it's not just about having fun. Um, something specifically in the spiritual aspect here um, is I love the worship, um, both in the actual summer camps, because I've been coming here for a long, long time. Okay. Um, even stepping off the bus today, I felt like, oh, I'm yeah, home. I'm it's home. like, this is, <laughs> yeah. this is my place to be. Yeah. Um, and especially seeing that kind of worship, that intensity, like that closeness, that feeling of home in the worship that we do, yeah. that especially, I think, is just so impactful for PCA. Yeah. I love the worship because a good friend of mine leads the worship, mm -hmm. right? Jared Wood. Uh, and he's been leading the worship here for a number of years. So um, Jay Wood is fantastic and awesome. I think he does a great job of really inviting you guys into worship, right? It's not a show or a presentation. It's really about setting the stage um, to allow you guys to, you know, walk into the throne room and yes, sir. understand the importance of that. So i uh, also thrilled to hear uh, from Ryan Newsom. Uh, who's going to be speaking. So the new spiritual development director, yes. he's going to be sharing. Uh, and so he's new to the team and super excited about him yeah. being able to share up here as well. But uh, super exciting for you guys. Is there anything that you might give as a word of advice to anybody new coming in, maybe as a new freshman coming in because they haven't been to retreat or a new student coming in for next year? This is the place to make friendships. Yeah. Like everyone's loosened up here. There's no clicks. There's Well, not no clicks, but like less of a stringent click yeah. and that you can kind of put yourself out there, um, find a friend, find a table to sit at. Um, and if all else fails, uh, if all else fails, come and find me. There's always a place. I love it. With me. I love it. With Exc my friends. Excited for your junior year this year, Kellen, and uh, excited for what you're going to do and then leading the class next year, mm, that next 25, year. 26. So appreciate your time. Absolutely. Yes, sir. All right, so now we've got Naomi Livings, and Naomi, this is your sophomore year, it is. and we're at retreat. Yes. Um, what do you think about retreat? What do you think about the value of coming up here as a student? I think it's a good opportunity to make new relationships and connections with um, not only like the people in your grade, um, but people older and younger than you, and also your teachers, because you're going to see them every day of the year, so you might as well like get close with them and create a connection with them while you're here because this is the opportunity to do it. And okay, that's an interesting point, the yeah. teacher thing, right? Because yeah. the, the upper school staff is here, yes. and we're all walking around in our T-shirts and shorts and kind of engaging in the games yes. and getting to know you guys a little bit. Is that not awkward for you or put offish? It's kind of good to interact with them in a different way? I'm the type that likes to have a connection with my teachers or my coaches because I feel like it makes being in that um, environment a lot easier, knowing that I have a strong connection with um, my teacher or coach. And yeah, I just feel like Sky Ranch gives me the opportunity to branch out and get to know them better and build a connection before the school year starts. Yeah. Now, what are you looking forward to this year? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to just like the, like getting older and like 
um, raising up in the high school, like, stands, I guess. I don't know. Because last year it was kind of, I was under the radar and a freshman. It was kind of, like, scary. Okay. But now that I know the environment and I have, like, more friends, like, I have a lot of senior and junior friends, Mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to navigate. So I'm excited to um, be able to feel more present than just, like, everywhere else. Yeah. What's it like that your older sister went off to school? Um, Kind of miss that presence? Yeah, for sure. I was literally talking about it today. Like, I genuinely just miss her being around and being with me because she kind of helped me navigate a lot of stuff so now that I'm like kind of here I have my twin sister Nyla with me but she was definitely like my rock in high school because she knew all the ins and outs of things um and I just miss her like being here I'm really proud of her and what she's doing up at USC it's awesome what um what kind of things would you tell a student coming new into PCA as far as how to get plugged in and involved I would say obviously it's going to be nerve-wracking but um I would probably start especially here making the friends in your advisory group because you're with them the most like most of the time here Mm -hmm. um so it's probably easier to talk to them so just building those relationships now because in school it's a lot harder because you're not gonna have class with everyone um so now that you're here with all the grades and all your friends and um your grade it's easier to make friends now before everyone goes off on their own kind of schedules when school starts yeah now are you looking forward to anything athletically this year going on yeah, so our season, we have a really good team this year. Um, I had a recent ankle injury a few weeks ago, so I'm kind of still dealing with that. But for sure, once I get back, um, my coach has a lot of faith in me, so I'm praying that um, I can get back quickly and healthily um, and be able to play with my team. But it's looking pretty good. We just won our tournament this past weekend in Rockwall. Um, so I'm really proud of that accomplishment with our team, and I'm excited to see what else we do this upcoming season. Yeah, I'm excited to watch you girls yes. and watch you as you go through your sophomore year. So, thank you. Naomi, thank you for your time. Of course. Thank you. All right, so now we've got a uh, freshman, Madison Kirby Birdwell, um, and uh, you and your sister, um, Mallory, are both here as freshmen coming in. Um, what are you guys excited for the freshman year coming in, right? Last year, eighth grade, this year, ninth grade, being in the upper school. Is there anything you're looking forward to that you're like, man, I'm so glad I'm there now as a freshman. I get to be a part of this. Um, I'm looking forward to building the homecoming float because we're doing it at my house this year. And so I'm kind of just excited to see everyone just come around together and build the homecoming float as one big happy family in a grade. Yeah. Homecoming is a ton of fun. It's early this year. Uh, We were just talking about that, and uh, it's, you know, early September. So um, excited about the freshman class all going together. Yes. Because I'm kind of excited about that. Um, It alleviates a little bit of the stress and the pressure of doing the whole finding a date type thing or whatever. And so all the freshman class will go together, um, you know, eat together at the hotel, right? You guys get the dance floor before everybody else gets there. Um, And that's kind of a a little bit of a change, a little bit of adjustment, but I'm excited about that for you guys as freshmen. And then you can have all the craziness your sophomore year after that. Um, What about retreat, right? We're up here at Sky Ranch, kind of your first time at upper school retreat. Um, Just in the impression so far, what would you think about Like, why do we do this? How does this advance the mission of PCA? Do we just send a group of high school kids up there to get them out of school for a couple days? Or are we doing something here that's kind of important? I feel like y'all send us here because we get to build more Christ-like friendships with each other. And we get to know each other more. I feel like we're all just becoming one big family like Mm -hmm. Prestonwood is. I feel like it's just a home. So I like that. That's really good. What would you say to a new student coming in? Um again, as students come in, you know, as freshmen, uh, or if just somebody's coming in next year and they're coming up to retreat and they're a little bit apprehensive about like, what is this going to be? And, you know, how do I make friends? What would you tell them in terms of a word of a wisdom and advice? I would tell them, don't be scared to reach out because there is always someone there that needs a closer friend to be with, or, um, there's always people looking for more friends to hang out with. So don't be as scared to reach out to someone. I love like it. you can reach out to me and I'll, be happy to be your friend or you can go to someone else yeah it's great I'm looking forward to it is there any particular class let's just look at academics for one second any particular class that you're excited about this this year for your freshman year I'm excited to take bible okay I'm ready to learn more about lord the lord and I'm excited to have dr kelly yeah I'm excited yeah that's good hey you know what thank you for a shout out for dr kelly He will appreciate it. So it's awesome. So, no, Madison, I appreciate your time and looking forward to just spending uh, the rest of the day up here uh, at retreat with you and uh, the fun time that you guys are having. So thanks for taking a few minutes.
Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. So, parents, now we're here with uh, Ryan Newsom, and Ryan, you're our new director of spiritual development. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked to some students about retreat yep. uh, and just what it means to them, how important it is. Um, and they gave good feedback, right? Yeah. Uh, most of the students have been here for a while, mm -hmm. right? They've been up to retreat, you know, at Sky Ranch several times. And so for them, starting off the year um, with a spiritual emphasis mm -hmm. is, a, is a normal thing, yeah. right? They, they go to a Christian school. Mm -hmm. um, and while we do academics, while we do athletics, mm -hmm. while we do arts, mm -hmm. right? The most important part about the school, mm -hmm. right, is that we have a Christian emphasis, right? Mm -hmm. We get to talk about Jesus. Yeah. We get to open up the Bible. We get yeah. to spend time with the kids and help them in their spiritual walks. Mm -hmm. And so for them to take a couple of days off of school yeah. or away from practice and yeah. to come up here to Sky Ranch and mm -hmm. focus on the spiritual part, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, that's yeah. that's what PCA is about. Now, you've got fresh eyes coming into <laughs> <to> this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I know you've been in yeah. right youth ministry for a long time, so mm -hmm. you've been around kids. You've yeah. been around this. What do you think about just retreat from your first perspective, first glance at yeah. it? Um, what What's your first take that our parents need to know? Yeah, that's well, I would just say um, for parents, yeah, I think it's it's just really hard to sometimes, you know, work a job and then you know raise children and make sure there's food on the table and all these kind of things. And so um, I just think that the kids, when they're able to get away mm. uh, from the demands, as you said, from uh, the academic side and just um, – what they're being asked to do at the school is do, do, do. Yeah. But when they get away and they're coming to the retreat, now they're just learning how to be. Yeah. <laughs> and so. And the um, word you used a lot was identity. Yep. Right. For them to be able to focus on yeah. who are you. Yeah. Right. And, and, you? and who are you in Christ? Yeah. Who has God made you to be? Mm -hmm. I like the word retreat because um, it literally means to pull back. Mm -hmm. Right. So we think of it from a military perspective. Mm -hmm. Right. If somebody says, hey, retreat, you're mm -hmm. you're running away from something. Mm -hmm. But it's an interesting thing because here mm -hmm. we're not running away from something. Right. right? You're something. in a sense, you're pulling back. Yeah. Right. The the obstacles of the world yeah. and everything that kind of gets you in the way, you're, uh, you're kind of examining a, yeah. at a deeper level. So yeah. I think of it like, you know, when, when, you know, God kind of pulled back the heavens mm -hmm. and said, Hey John, right. take a look in heaven. Right. You're like, right. <laughs> right? like oh. right. And you're, yeah. you know, you're, you're pulling that back. Uh -huh. And so here we come and we're kind of pulling back yes. the things that the world has heaped on our kids, mm. the do, 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 do. Yep. Right. And we're letting them kind of focus on, right. Yeah. What's the B what's the heart. Yeah. How do we, how do we really examine that? And so last yeah. night um, you talked, mm. um, gave a, a fantastic message about, um, the thing that was going through my mind is just a, a famous poem called The Hound of Heaven about mm -hmm. how God just pursues those mm -hmm. he loves mm -hmm. um, to a point where mm -hmm. um, you can't outrun them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. He, he, you know, and you've got yeah. some people. And, and honestly, yeah. right, all of us kind of had a little bit of a testimony right. of how, how far we tried to outrun yeah. God. Uh, some got a little further than right. others. <laughs> <laughs> got spooky. So, yeah. <laughs> like, how far are you? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it's amazing how all of us have a testimony yeah. of how God captured our hearts. Yeah. All of us have a testimony about how God, you know, reached us, mm -hmm. right? We weren't mm -hmm. reaching out to him. We were yeah. running from him. Yeah. Um, but God, God pursued us. Yeah. And so I thought it was fantastic for our kids to just be reminded of mm -hmm. that for those who have already, mm -hmm. right. Understood that. Mm -hmm. And they, hey, that's your identity. Yeah. But for those who haven't yeah. yet yeah. to kind of say, mm -hmm. am I really running mm -hmm. at, away from God? Mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. It's, and it's time to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You don't, you want to go any further. Yeah. Right? Cause I mean, you're, you're 17, 18 years old. Yeah. If you can stop running away from God yeah. and figure out the great, plan that he has for your life yeah. the love that he has for you that he right. wants to lavish on you yeah. it's a totally different life from that point forward so yeah. that's that's kind of what i felt like you shared with the kids mm -hmm. and they received what did you think about it yeah I, I thought it was i thought it was good um just being up there obviously you know at the retreat for the first time you just kind of want people to to get to know you uh -huh. and you know for me you know i shared my testimony with them and how God has always known me. Yeah. It, it's me that wasn't acquainted with who he knew that I was. Yeah. And so what I just needed was a fresh pair of eyes. I needed to see what he saw in me. And that's pretty much my testimony. And um, I told them an illustration about my wife and how, you know, after she was pregnant, she struggled, you know, mightily just with identity mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And so um, what I was doing, what I was taught to do <laughs> as a husband who has a wife who's formerly pregnant is to constantly affirm who she is, mm -hmm. her true nature, who she actually is, yep. positive affirmation, yep. encouraging. Sometimes it looks like saying something. Sometimes it looks like being quiet. <laughs> yep. But at the same time, I think for me, uh, me being raised around women and, you know, having a, a wife that was pregnant, I quickly learned that 
uh, when you associate yourself, your identity with your body mm -hmm. or how other people perceive you, right. well, then what happens when that changes? Yeah. Then you lose yourself. Yeah. And so as a husband, it was my job, my uh, charge to continue to affirm who she is in spite of what she saw. Yeah. And that's who God is. Yeah. He, he desires for us to see <laughs> what he sees. And in other words, I believe that's what it, call, what it means to be born again, yeah. is to see something to see the kingdom of heaven. And so my question on the floor to the students is um, not did you say a prayer, not do you read the Bible, what do you see? <laughs> and you shared a little bit about your identity yep. used to be in football, mm. right? Your identity used to yep. be in trophies. Your identity yep. used to be mm -hmm. about what you did to perform, mm -hmm. right? And really how your, uh, your grandmother, yep. <laughs> Marva B., <laughs> right, helped, helped refocus that, yep. right, by That's calling right. you, you know, mm. preacher. Preacher. Right? And yeah. just kind of what, what has God called you mm. to, not what. What has the world called you to? Yeah. And I think I think just, mm. you know, resonating with the with yep. the students, mm. um, because I know that we're at a school yep. and it's an academic focus. You know, mm. our seniors, you know, just took off and, you know, the, the getting into college yeah. and getting a job is so much on the mm. minds of people. And, and the, you know, we always say this. It's like, that's the easy part. Mm hmm. Right. At yeah. a school, that's mm -hmm. the easy part, easy. getting your kids ready mm -hmm. for, in a sense, kind of success in the mm -hmm. world. Yeah. Right. But yeah. to help them see themselves yeah. through the lens of right? Scripture through yeah. God's eyes. Yeah. That's the hard part. Because there's so many, as you said, there's so mm -hmm. many voices. As, as you talked about your wife, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot of voices yes. <laughs> telling her, media, yeah. right, what beauty is. Mm -hmm. And then there's your voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, as a, as a husband, your voice has to be mm -hmm. louder mm -hmm. than the other voices. Yeah. No, I think that's, that's, that's important. You know, uh, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. That's right. Uh, they know me and they follow me. Yeah. And so I just think, man, you know, just for the kids, um, you know, uh, identity, you know, I talked about last night and hopefully I can get into this later. But I believe the Bible from Genesis to Revelation is all about identity, who, yeah. who we are in Christ and him restoring us back to our original form in him. Yeah. And, um, you know, for the kids, I, I just want them to know that because when you're. A living from a place of identity when you're living from a place of rest you can never be burnt out yeah. <laughs> and it reminds me of, of Paul when he says in Philippians I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength but just a few verses prior to that he's talking about him putting his identity in his rest and his achievements and so when he says I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength he's talking about he has now an identity that can handle both success and failure. <laughs> and so that's the kind of identity that we desire, Dan, you know, in Preston Wood for the kids to have. It's yeah. an identity that can never be shaken. And so, yeah, that's, that's what good. my daddy taught me. That's good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, you did a, a great job. I mean, I know you've connected with the students. Mm -hmm. Um, and retreat is just an opportunity, right? North Campus had their retreat, right? Mm -hmm. Plano Campus has their retreat. Yep. And we just need to constantly remind parents, why, mm -hmm. why do we do the things that we do? Mm -hmm. um, they're intentional. Yep. Um, they're not always perfect, yep. right? You know, so, sometimes things happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, I know some parents, you know, it's concerned, you know, mm -hmm. hey, you know, Sky Ranch, is it, is it safe? What am I going to do? Are they going to sleep? <laughs> All the different things. It's like, Naturally, you know yeah. what? Right. I mean, right. As, as a staff, right. it, it's great because we're, we're at a facility working with a group of people that this is what they do 360. 65, mm. right, every day. Mm. So when we come up here, right, Sky Ranch knows how to take care of us, yeah. right, because they're, yeah. they're, they're doing it with students all year long. So when our yeah. students are here, right, they, yeah. can, they can just focus on our mm. you know, students. We're the only people on campus right. in, the, you know, in this beautiful facility up yeah. here. Sometimes it gets a little hot. Right. We need to remind the kids to hydrate because <laughs> yeah. we're in Texas. Um, but it's a, it's a great opportunity, I think, yeah. you know, for me just to, just to pull back mm -hmm. from the things of the world that mm -hmm. are demanding their attention, as you said, just yeah. to focus on mm. them resting in Christ, yeah. right, Christ strengthening them, yeah. Christ giving them their identity. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think that's that's just important, at least from what I've learned from Sky Ranch. I think it wasn't only a time for the kids to decompress, but I think it was a time for the teachers, you yeah. know. And so a school didn't just start for us on August 16th or whenever we started. It started a few months prior. Yeah. So everybody's been working. And I think it's sometimes it's easy to get wrapped up in what you do. Mm -hmm. And in what you're doing, you think that that's what makes God pleased with you. 
And so oftentimes I think I'm just reminded of Jesus, how he would oftentimes retreat. <laughs> and after he just got through performing a miracle or working or doing all kinds of things, man, he would oftentimes retreat. And the disciples are like, hey, man, where'd Jesus go? And he's back there just praying. Yeah. And I think it's because it's really easy to be attached and find your identity in what you do. Absolutely. And so sometimes it's good to just be separate from that. Yeah. And uh, I told my wife, I said, man, sometimes when somebody asks me what I do, why do I reply with what I am? Like, why do I say, you know, when somebody asks me, hey, Ryan, uh, what do you do? I say, I'm a spiritual development director at Prestonwood. Well, they didn't ask me who I am. (laughs) They asked me, what do I do? But culturally speaking, I think we're just so ingrained in doing something to become like something. Yeah. It's just natural for us to respond that way. And so I think it's it's good for us to pull back and retreat and come here and say, you know what? I have an identity that rests in not what I can do, but it solely rests in who the Father says that I am. And every once in a while, I need a retreat to do that. So. Yeah, I love it. I love it. reminds me of when Jesus gets baptized and mm-hmm. the Father says, it's mm-hmm. my son and whom I'm well pleased. And it's mm-hmm. like, he hasn't even started his ministry wow. yet. He hasn't even done anything yet. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's like, no, he doesn't have to. Mm-hmm. It's my son. Wow. Right? I'm pleased in him. Yeah. So I love that you, you shared some pictures of your family yep. and talked about your son and daughter. And mm-hmm. uh, it was a neat connection time, I think, for, for mm-hmm. our students. And I think, you know, in the retreats, I think this is my 23rd retreat that I've been at. Oh, wow. I'm just getting old and <laughs> ready, ready to go home and get some sleep. Um, but it's, all, it's always been um, mm-hmm. a, a neat, special time mm-hmm. for, for the students. I always, you know, talk about, you're, you, you know, somebody's going to open up the word and mm-hmm. give good seed. Yeah. Um, are the students going to open up their hearts and be good soil mm. for that seed to be planted in, mm. right? Yeah. And, and a lot of times, the answer is yeah, Yeah. right? They get away from trying to perform and do and mm-hmm. be, you know, mm-hmm. they can just come here and be, and, mm. you know, the Lord opens up their heart, and they receive yeah. the word in a way that they never would have received it back there. So, yeah. I, interesting I, times. Yeah, I, I think this is a really special time, and so for any parents concerned out there, <laughs> I just want to, just having a new pair of eyes, me just being here. Yeah. I thought it was just, it was a special time just, you know, for me to just, as we're going into the school year, uh, this kind of almost feels like a baptism, you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. it's like, Jesus is just affirming Dan Panetti and Ryan Newsom and, and Dr. Goddard and Dr. Colin saying, hey, no matter what happens this year, that's right. uh, who I say that you are, that's what completely matters. And I think for us, it's really hard for us to wrestle with that yeah. because we live in a culture where identity comes from our achieving yeah but the late great tim keller would say you know christianity is not achieved it's received Mm. so um i want i desire for all of our doing to come from our being yeah instead of doing to try to be we be and then we do from there so i think the retreat just gives us a great opportunity to do that and and uh, it's been a really good time yeah Well, looking forward to a fantastic year with you at the helm of the Spiritual Development Group and just what God is going to do in the lives of uh, our school and our students and our families. So thanks Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you for investing the time to listen to this episode of The Journey. Please take a minute to share with friends and family who will also benefit from this valuable resource. And don't forget to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast app. It is truly our blessing and honor to walk with you on the journey.